A fierce battle with Dark Dragon ensued when the Runefaust army invaded. With the heroics of Max and the Shining Force, Dark Dragon was defeated. The victors return to their normal lives, vowing for renewed peace. Some disappeared, some left for further adventure, and some returned to their homes and families. And Anne Rhee returned to her kingdom as the Queen of Guardiana. With help from Ken, Luke, and Lo, they rebuilt the kingdom from the ashes of the Runefaust invasion. Sonic Software Planning. Well, buddy, and welcome to Shining Force CD. It has been almost a full year since I have recorded anything with Shining Force. Uh, I have been very busy uh, with a lot of moves and whatnot, which is going to continue on with my life for quite the time, uh, but I have just a few moments of time to be able to tackle this game uh, and I'm excited for it I have not actually played this game before I have only seen it played a little bit uh, so this isn't a totally blind playthrough but it is a mostly blind play playthrough uh, I've only gotten to see really a few battles uh, and I wasn't really trying to pay attention because I didn't want to spoil myself uh, with this game. Uh, but the general premise of this game is that it is a period that is in between Shining Force 1 and Shining Force 2. Uh, where there were different games that they put out on the Game Gear, uh, which is just a very old handheld system that didn't really work that well. Uh, didn't compete with the Game Boy that well, uh, and they took that, enhanced on it, and placed it into the Sega CD, and added some stories to it. Uh, so it's a conglomeration of a bunch of different games and some extra stuff, uh, all in a single package. Uh, so we're gonna have fun with this. Uh, so let's continue on so we don't have to keep hearing this exact same tune. Uh, man, that gets very annoying because it's so short. So you're interested in Legends of the Shining Force. To waken Queen Anri, Rug went on an expedition with his force. Wow, what happened next? Now, there's already a typo. This is a good start. <laughs> All right. Now you get to choose uh, which books that you want to do. Uh, so there's book one and book two. We're going to start off with book one and then we'll go into book two. I'll get it for you. Just a second. Uh... And of note, as you go through and play uh, play this game, you're going to see it's a little bit different from Shining Force 1 and 2. Not in the battle system. Battle system looks about the same, uh, but the rest of the game is different. You don't have the ability to explore the world like you did in Shining Force 1 and 2. So you are going to see a little bit difference in there, but there are some things you can do in between. All right, we're going to go through and name this. Uh... We're going to go with the classic Magnus. Um, so I normally 
go through these games on a on the hardest difficulty that I can. At least I did that with Shining Force 2. And I had a rule that said that I had to replace my most uh like my earliest game character with my latest game character. So anybody I got new kicked out the one that I've had for the longest. Um I'm not going to follow that rule because I'm playing this blind mostly. I use that as a challenge for myself in games that I know. Uh, but... So, my brother plays this and has complained about it a lot. Uh, and I'm going to use this to show him that you can play it on the hardest difficulty. I want to see everything that this game has in its difficulty. And we will see what I can do with that. <laughs> really? Wow. Well, good luck. Now let's enjoy the story together. And hopefully I can change the music. Thank you. We Nodri. Or Anri. I guess they actually said it right. Messengers from Cyprus have arrived at our gates. What? What do they want with us? Your Majesty. They are barbarians. They bring only trouble. Ooh. Uh... That is... not good. Wait here until you are summoned. I've waited long enough. Come on, let's go see Queen Henri. I invoke the Bolt spell. Level 3! Just to let you know that it's powerful. <laughs> Level 3. So that's not a good start. Idiots. Now that they've seen... No, now that they're out of the way, why did I put scene there? Where's the queen? Halt to the name of the queen! Ken bravely fo stepped forward to guard his queen. How rude. In Cyprus, we have a much different idea of courtesy. Allow me to demonstrate. Dantum Frabel. You think you're a match for me, old man? Let's find out. You Gardenia wimps will grovel before the forces of Cyprus. Ken, lo, enough. Good sir, please pardon my knight's rudeness. I am Anri, Queen of Gardenia. Or, Gardiana. I keep messing that up. What is your message? Your apologies accepted. I am Waldo, the Lord of Cyprus. Our King Edmund the Reluctant sends this. The Reluctant? That is interesting. A token of friendship. Yeah, don't open gifts from strangers. Queen Henry! Someone get a healer now! A mere healer will not help your queen. Queen Henry rests in an eternal sleep. Only King Edmund can awaken her. As long as you obey us, we will let her live. And the classic, uh, then they teleport away. In those words, Waldo disappeared in a cloud of smoke. Dardiana sent its best warriors to Cyprus to kill Edmund and save their beloved queen. The army sailed away and was not seen again. It's been over a month since our forces left for Cyprus. We haven't heard a word. They were our best and bravest warriors. If they have lost, maybe... Gardenia's lost to or Guardiana's lost to I keep adding some an I in there, and I don't know why. Then we'll have to obey the uh, barbarians. There's no one else to send. Wait, wait! Lo! We've decided to go after the lost warriors! Is that you, Rus? The son of Lug? Which by the way is Luke from Shining Force 1. Uh, there's some translation errors. We'll get to that. What do you mean by we? Watch this! 
Oh, I didn't realize there was going to be a whistle there. Sorry to add it. Hey, look. Shade, how is your father, Hans? He's fine. He wanted me to come because you'll need an archer. Uh, I hope you're way better than Hans. Who's that big monk? He looks like old Gong. Gong is my uncle. He told me of your bravery. He taught me everything I know. My name is Sig. We're going to see a lot of use from him. And here's Wendy. Are you going too? Of course. You don't think I'd miss out on all the adventure, do you? Epis, my son, you are not going. It's too dangerous. Please, father. You know I can handle a sword, and Queen Henri needs us. And you want to save Luke, your father, right? All right. I won't stop you. Roos, who is... Is this stranger you've brought with you? Ken, I am honored to introduce our leader. He's not from Guardiana, but he helped us plan our adventure. There is always somebody that's not from the area in these games that end up leading everybody. Something about your eyes. Remind me of my old friend Max. Well, I guess in Shining Force 2, you grew up in that town, so that makes... That's a different... That's a different thing, but... I have to go back and see canonically if you were actually from that area. There's a linkage. It's very confusing if they act With them trying to actually connect everything to the storyline. No, those days are behind you now. We are the new Shining Force. And Magnus will guide our way. We are ready to follow him to Cyprus. With your consent, of course. They're old enough, and our last hope. I've decided to go with them, and help save Queen Anri. Oh, thank you. So Magnus and the Shining Force sailed for Cyprus. They didn't know danger lay wait for them, just beyond the horizon. Uh, there will be some longer, like, loading times, because it is an emulator of Sega CD, so you will have to deal with that. One week later, on the high seas between Guardian and Cyprus. Ah, uh, you never get on the boat. <sighs> Not much of an adventure so far, eh, Apis? Apis? It's pretty quiet, alright. Don't, don't say that. Hey! Where'd that glowing ball come from? Uh oh. Oh. So, this is the great shining force that will save Guardiana. Won't Waldo be scared when I tell him? Why, you're just a bunch of kids! Ah... Uh, bats. I hate bats! Don't underestimate them, wizard. It might be the last mistake you ever make. Alright! Um, so... Another... Uh, wow, everybody's getting turns. This is good. This is good. Ah, uh, okay. The HP doesn't seem too bad. I'll have to look at the stats. Uh, I don't know the differences between the difficulties at all. Um, just as a heads up, I do not know what's going to be different here. But I'm just playing on the super hard mode. You gotta have to deal with that. Um, I usually do a unit review as I go through here, um, because I know about the units and what I experience with them. That's a weird... yeah. Um, ooh, 17 attack. Uh, I, I don't know what the reference is there. I'm gonna have to check our own stuff. But... Um, you know, I'm going to do my best to look at a unit and kind of go through and talk about them as much as I can. Uh, it's going to be, a, I, I'm going to actually not do that this time. Uh, with the, because especially the attack and defense of all these characters are going to be a little bit skewed because they have some exceptional equipment. Uh, who knows what will happen to us, uh... You know, can we keep the equipment? 
we'll find out. Um, but I can go through and show, you know, ooh, that's actually a lot of attack over there. So that's pretty good. Uh, of course, not a lot of attack from the archer. All right, but we're dealing with 18 and above, or 17 and above attack here. Um, we'll see how the enemies are. Okay, so I'm gonna do like five damage or so as they fly around. Uh, same thing there. So that's not so bad. Um, and I've got an okay defense. <laughs> uh, they're gonna do some decent damage to me. So this is gonna be fun. I do have to go through this carefully, and we'll begin. Um, I gotta look at the movement of these guys. I didn't pay attention to that. So six movement, six movement. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I'm safe. I'm pretty safe. Go on. Uh, we'll go here. Everybody else will catch up. Uh, I'm not going to split the team up. That sounds like a bad idea. There we go. What spells do you have? Classic Blaze Mage? Alright. Then Roos. Ah, uh, we'll go here. The Monk is our only healer. Or Monk. Sig is our only healer right now. So it looks like, currently, these guys aren't really moving. Uh, these guys are moving in. Um, so we we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are our danger squares. So I can try to lure them in, or... And I won't do that with anybody except... Uh, no, come on. My controls. Uh, <laughs> Except for Roos, probably. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, the top of that. Um, and that would be doubly baiting them. Oh, hold on, if that's a danger, that's a danger. Let me check this. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, right here is the spot. How is your defense? Eleven? Uh, so that's like seven damage from that. Don't want to deal with that. So I can just draw attacks over here. Let's do that. I think I can block them off like that. There we go. This is gonna hurt. Ow. Uh, and I think the combat generally goes like a Shining Force 2 more than a Shining Force 1. So that's a, that's a good note. Get our first attack in. Let's go, Wendy. And Blaze is always reliable. They actually gave her a pointy hat. Okay. Do have to be very careful. Okay, uh, I do want to keep that land effect. Um, I kind of want to create a blockade here. Ooh, very nice. Bruce is... Uh, strong. Oh, can Sig get to him? Sig can. That's good, that's good. Okay. We're not gonna take any chances here. We do have some uh, medical herbs and whatnot to use as well. Um, I think I can allow them to get to Roos. I wish I could block him off from uh, Sig, but, you know, such is life. Um, actually, so if you get your turn, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, or you can go one, two, three, four, there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So I want to actually attack from, from over here. I don't know if they counterattack, actually. So, 
I'm going to take advantage of range that I can. Ooh, never mind. <laughs> Apis is strong. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to really risk you if I don't need to. Uh, it's only four damage, roughly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I'm only drawing one at a time right now, so that actually isn't too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's there, so we should be good here. Let's see if anybody starts coming our way besides these two. Ooh, you didn't do anything. You should have charged right up to him. Um, I should be able to... Now, I can't count on turn order, but I should be able to get to... Get to him. So this is a little bit risky maneuver, but it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Uh, and I also, you know, have to hope to hit. It's... It happens. These are bats. We know that dodge rates are pretty high. Okay. So that was perfectly fine. And I had a second shot with Apis, so that was good. Right. Uh, come on, Sig. Ooh, good job. That's some good luck there. Okay, now those bats are activated. We're going to slightly retreat. <laughs> All right, Shade. Um... So, Shade's actually doing some pretty okay damage, uh, and going quick, which is lovely. Wow, only f but you only have five agility. Maybe everybody's just tied and I'm getting lucky with it. Um, nobody's hurt. So, we're gonna see Sig fight. Okay, five damage, respectable. Uh, I, I wonder if Sig's gonna turn out like Gong, or if he's gonna turn out you know, if he's going to turn out more like the Master Monks in Shining Force 2. Because you never know with these guys. Okay. Alright, so what do we got here? Uh, so probably the front two kind of charging forward. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the danger square. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can bring him all the way over here, and that le will leave room. Um, and I would rather Apis get hit. You've got... Yeah, you have more. one more HP, which does matter. Um, I'll take Roos getting hit, too, I think. But if I'm actually if I move him closer, we we pull both. So I'm I'm being very cautious right now because I don't know what super hard brings. Um. Although so far it isn't isn't that bad. Um. It does look like the flyers are blocked by that pillar, so that's good. Uh, that might prevent the ooh two attacks. All right. Uh, I mean, this is also the first battle. Not that that gives me any comfort, uh, you know. Uh, Shining Force 2 doesn't bring me much comfort with the first battle. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, you can take another hit. A, you can take a hit. I'm just gonna go here. Come on, bats. I am not letting myself run into those bats. Uh, oops. Oh, this is... Worthwhile since I have the medical herbs. Just to get Sig some experience. go. That bat should come right to us. Okay, order roost. Only one damage. Okay, 
So it looks like the Incubus were the ones that I had to worry about. Um, you know, I haven't seen any status effects yet from these guys, but... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's the spot that I have to avoid. Uh, with shade, at least. Just make sure I'm not being dumb here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so don't go there. Move that out right. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. So I need to go there. Apis will be attacked by the other bat, but that's fine. Uh, we haven't seen the hero <laughs> attack yet. <laughs> it's because it's just how the turns have gone. Um, I swear we will get to that happening. Um, I'm just being very cautious. Uh, Roos, I'm not having you take a blaze to hit. That's just not happening. Yeah, Magnus, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so... Or, no, you did do an attack, I guess. Um, it just seems like you haven't done anything. <laughs> okay, running away. Ooh, didn't take the opportunity. Um, I will take, like, a step forward. I'm gonna be very cautious at this point in time. Uh, but so far, this is, this is, this is pretty fun. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, and nothing too difficult. So don't don't get up to there, but I can get to here, and that's fine. Okay, now that's going to be a little bit dangerous, but it's okay. Okay, he's going to go over there. All right. So Roos certainly dies to a blaze two. One, two, three, four, five, one, two. So he's gonna fall back. He's gonna get a hit. Yeah. Okay. Looks like the level ups are more like, oh, you know, you can't absolutely tell, but it looks like the level ups are more uh, like Shining Force uh, 2 than 1. Th these are things that I know, but have to go through and explain for you guys that just haven't played. Uh, we go through this journey together. Um, so you can actually kind of look at the base stats for somebody and determine how uh, effective they're going to be, because... You know, there's some stats that they're going to gain a little bit faster than others, but generally they're going to go up by one or two in this stage uh, when they level up, and then possibly go up by three points as you get to the bigger uh, or the promoted classes and whatnot. Um, let's see here. So you, one, two, three, four, five, one, two. So you're, you're still attacking there. Ooh. Yep, okay. So for him, this is what I'm going to do. Because uh, I don't trust that I can survive a... I, I don't know the numbers for a Blaze 2. So I'm going to use that uh, and keep myself nice and spread out. And then once the mage goes, then I'll go in. Although I, I like that they're using a mixture of Shining, or yeah, in this case, they have a new creature, the Incubus. Um, and then they have some older ones from Shining Force 1, but in the arts, but like showing up within the art style of a Shining Force 2, which is nice. Okay, yeah, sure. Attack Sig. I'm okay with this. Oh, okay, so there's counterattacks. There we go. Which makes sense, because this game physically happened after Shining Force. Two. Right, it was created after Shining Force 2 for the Sega CD. 
if it carries over traits, that's a good thing from Shining Force 2. Okay. Um, I could probably kill the mage to end this. Oh, there we go. That's fine. It doesn't give me any extra information. Um, I can deal with... Um, that may... Okay, there we go. I did want to get the a little bit of extra experience. Uh, I, I feel like I'm going to need it. The roost here. Um, and yeah, I guess my archer is going to get get some experience here. That's fine. I'm just going to get through the maps how I need to. And there we go. You may be fine warriors, but you will never see the shores of Cyprus. Join me now in death. Uh, I didn't know that you were an exploding rock. Oh, it's a he. He's gone, and it took half of our hole with him! Everybody, overboard! Swim for that island over there! Oh no! And there we go. Magnus! Come on, Magnus! Snap out of it! Look, everyone! He's okay! We've lost all of our supplies and weapons, but we survived. Hope we don't run into any Cypress soldiers. Stop! Let me go! You're too pretty to stay here in Minion Wilderness. I think I'll take you back to Cypress with me. No! I'll die first! Stop right there, you cypress pigs. I like that. Please, get me out of here. This is none of your business, stranger. Leave before you get hurt. Arm yourselves, everyone. Search the ground. Use rocks, sticks, anything. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Now we run to the real situation. What happened to all of our gear? Um, yep, it's gone. Uh, and also, uh, why am I not being helped by the experienced soldier? That makes no sense. Um, uh, yeah, but this is, uh, this is what we get. We lost all of our equipment and are starting over, uh, but we will get into that next time. Uh, because I've taken up a lot of time just for the introduction here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be finishing out this series however it takes. Uh, and apologies for the amount of time that it took to get started on this. Uh, life happens, unfortunately. Uh, but this game will continue on and I will be producing videos for it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, and uh, we will see what happens next time. See you later. Thank you.